Hey Edio, I'm going to show you a few tips about the quick motion camera add-on. This um, video is not for people who are interested in the add-on. For that, if you are new to the add-on, I suggest you to check some excellent uh, tutorials on YouTube. So I cannot do it better than them. They are very good. So uh, what was that? Ask, ask and K. Oh, this race glitch. Well, um, our animation studios. Stephen Scott. Wow. So, but I found a few tips. Tips for those who have the quick motion uh, add-on. Let's uh, start. So, first, I still want to show you the structure of the add-on because. Maybe you are using the add-on and sometimes you cannot find the things quick. If I show you the structure, then it's easy to uh, get what you want. So there are four sections. You have the quick camera tools, but you have to memorize. Those are the tools, or four tools inside. Tool number one is you can convert the animation data to keyframes. So if there is animation data you convert it to keyframes follow object that's very nice uh, but i have a tip for that i really um, have to memorize that i think i forget it the uh, camera switcher uh, i love that that's very easy to use and the camera zoomer so those are the tools next camera shake all you have to remember is that camera shake is for short um, uh, shocks, bumps, or short noise. It's not continuously. Then you got the quick motion camera. That's for continuous animation, like a uh, motor is running or some something is bumping uh, all the time. And then quick camera animation is to manually add uh, keyframes. So Tools is for tools, camera shake for short, uh, short uh, bumps, motion camera for continuous animation, and quick camera animation to manually add keyframes on the rotation and the pen, the pen and the zoom. All right, so what the add-on does, as you might know, is if you have uh, it adds noise, noise to um, an animation. Let's say I had a keyframe uh, here, so I select the camera, select the camera, upward scale, and what it actually does is it adds noise to uh, one of those. So, or on the X, Y, and Z location or on the X, Y, and Z Euler rotation. And different tools are doing different things. For example, if you go to camera shake, if you do interpolation shake, you get noise on the Z location and Euler rotation. If you choose a preset, then you got a room noise on the uh, X Euler and Y Euler. So it's different, act different, so interpolation shake. It's globally on the Z location. Uh, and uh, random shake generator is the Z Euler rotation. So those are different uh, things. No, there is uh, one thing for those who are picky. Um, there is something with the Y Euler rotation. I show you if I have a camera, let's say I have a camera here, and uh, someone is bumping me on my elbow over here, under my elbow, like that. So then I'm having a camera here, something, so then the camera will move like that. Or, um, yeah, if I'm shaking myself, I, I move the camera like that. So that that's how I shake my camera. That's actually on a local axis. If someone bumps me on my shoulder or on my side, then, then I got uh, that, something like that. So that is like almost on the, 
on this local axis. Um, and if someone bumps me on my head, then uh, I move like that. So it's almost like uh, also a local axis, local axis like that. Now, what happens now if you uh, add noise on the Y Euler rotation? You add a modifier, you add noise. Let's scale this up now. Let's see what happens. You see the camera is moving like that. I, I found it a bit strange. I don't understand why that is because, yeah, the, I mean, the origin is here. I have no idea how that works, but that's how it is in Blama. So it looks like the camera is like that. But I'm pretty sure I'm not moving my camera like that. And I think that won't happen very much. But I, as I said, yeah, well, we are a little bit uh, picky here because if you put the strength very low, very low like that, uh, you put the scale a bit like that, you start, you won't really, you won't, won't really see it. But uh, there might be cases that, that you think uh, it's not exactly, something is going on, but you don't know what, so that's this, this is what you see. So a solution for that, uh, I found a solution. So I'm going to delete the keyframe, delete keyframes. I select my camera, rotation zero, that's fine. Now uh, I'm going to move, clean up a little bit here. <clears throat> All right, ah, that's why. So to solve that, you add an empty to the scene, grab on the y, y uh, sorry, x axis. Then um, you add keyframe, lock rod scale. The next is you go to, I think it's the Z oil rotation. You add noise modifier. <coughs> you would you um, stress that out. That's a scale, scale. So if we run the animation, we got thinking like that, like that. And then if you select the camera, select the camera, go to the properties panel, copy rotation, and then you select the empty we just made. And now if we run this, we get exactly that um, rotation we want. Um, now we select the empty, it's a little bit too strong. Let's move that. So, strength. Alright. So, that's the uh, first uh, tip. So, what, what you might want to do is, you just uh, use the add-on, uh, then if there is something you think, oh, that this, I want to have this different. Then it could be the Y Euler rotation. Then you you uh, you mute the um, Euler rotation, and then you add an empty to the scene. You, you you animate that with noise. You select the camera, go to the properties panel, add constraints, and that's called copy rotation. And um, um, yeah, that's it. So the next step I want to show you is a problem when we animate the camera as follows. So I have the camera selected. I press um, camera selected. I add keyframe. I move to another keyframe. I think I want to have the camera like that. Zoom. Like this, then I move over here. Uh, 
and add keyframe. So what happens now? Um, some might as expect that we have a nice uh, rotation like that. So, but instead we got an animation like that. So that's quite <laughs> that's quite uh, ugly and annoying. You can so you can try to solve it by doing this. Add a keyframe here. Download skill. Go over here. Correct this. I'm going to do that. <clears throat> so, but looks a bit better, but the, <laughs> it's not really that uh, super. So instead, if you want to do something like that, um, you can add any object into the scene. I like to add a circle because. with another one another circle i think is this one i'm looking for a mesh circle because mm, that's just for yeah visual that i can uh, see it you can do it with an empty or anything like that um, <clears throat> So then you have your camera, select the camera, select the circle, uh, press Ctrl P and then uh, set parent to object. <clears throat> then if you select the, 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 your, the circle or empty and you press I, lock rod scale and then you can do this. Lock rod scale and uh, set mean scale then uh, let's say like that so let's do it simple so then you have a movement that's much uh, smoother now you still can use um, the presets and uh, the anon let's go to quick I'm looking for uh, what is that uh, again? That is the um, motion camera. So motion camera, and I want to add. Mm, let's add. Um, light shake. Oh, I yeah, uh, preset light shake here. Yeah. That's very light. Um, let up running camera. All right, a preset running camera. Yeah, cool. I like that. So, um, uh, there is one more tip, and I uh, I didn't forget it. So that is camera follow object. Now, um, let's remove this uh, circle here. Let's animate this object and press lock rod scale. And I move the object over here like that. Oh, sorry, I have to go to another keyframe. Rub set, hold X, right. All right, and now I go to the camera tools. And then I follow object. What object is that? And that is the cube. Cube. Cube over here. Okay, set track. Right. All right. So you see uh, this. And um, yeah, the cube is uh, going outside of it. So then for that you go to the constraints uh, tab and you set 
the entrance may be around 0 0.8 or so. That's cool. That's right. So I think that's it. All right. Um, I hope you found it uh, useful. And I'll see you next time. All right.